Hi, my name's Freya, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a three looks, one palette using the Meet Me at Midnight by Lois Cosmetics. It is 16 pans, we got nine shimmers and seven mattes. I've already primed my eyes using Tone Activator by Kaleidos and I've put some concealer under my eyes. A Beauty Bay blending brush, no name, and going into Ambiguous. First gonna just put that through the crease. And I'm just gonna run that underneath the lash line. Using the Sigma Switch, just take all color off there and then I'm just gonna start blending this. And build up with Ambiguous on the crease. Just try and build up the pigment. Lamora angled brush and I'm going into Midnight the black. Just gonna start placing that on the outer V. Take that first brush. I'm just gonna blend Around here and also sort of bring that through the crease a little bit. A cup of E29 brush using Midnight the black and putting it along the lower lash line right up close to the lashes. I'm going to blend these two together. Some NYX glitter glue on a Colourpop E25 brush. It's illuminated. I'm going to put that on the inner part of the eye. Wow, what a gorgeous gold. Same stars. I'm just going to blend these two together very lightly and use Midnight just uh, add some more of that black onto the outer corner for lower lash line I'm going to take Guided and I'm going to use some Sesame Spray I'm just going to put that along the lash line here I'm going to do the rest of the face, the other eye, and I'll be back to show you the finished look. So for my lips, I use this eyeliner by L'Oreal called Antique Green uh, to line my lips. And then I use Unfaze Velvet Trap Lipstick by Jeffree Star. For my eyes, I use Cultura by Melt for the waterline. Then I use MAC. Stack uh, Mini for my lashes. I love this mascara, it really does work, it's great. And uh, what else? Oh, and for my inner corner, I use Colourpop Flexitarian, and because I have that on my cheeks as well, so that's what I use. Okay, so let's get into look number two. For look number two, I'm going to do a really easy look just using two brushes, actually three, if you count in inner corner highlight. So, uh, but for the main eyeshadow, it's just two brushes. And I'm gonna start off with this ColourPop E26 brush, and I'm going straight into Nightfall here. I'm just going to start putting that all over the lid. Just stamping down my shape I want. Spectrum uh, A12 brush and I'm just going to start blending around the edges here. Going back in with Nightfall, just uh, re-intensify that shimmer over the lid. 
disturbed this navy blue giving it a tap and just running it along the lower lash line three quarters of the way along I am using the Sigma switch throughout just to take off colour in a new day which is that bright pink giving it a tap and putting that just along the front here half moon this gorgeous shimmer here and I'm going to put that just on the inner corner going up use Lavender Snow by Jeffree Star for inner corner highlights I'm just taking that on a Spectrum A15 brush and spraying it with some NYX setting spray I'm just going to put that on the inner corner and drag that to meet that pink I'm going to finish the rest of the face and I'll be back to show you the finished look in a minute this is look number two I really enjoyed creating this what I used for my waterline was melt gel liner in slate for my lips I used photo shoot London lip liner in black and L'Oreal lip paint lacquer in black widow and for my eyelashes I use Max Stack Mini. Let's get into look number three. I've already primed my eyes with Clado's Tone Activator and now I'm just going to get some scotch tape. I'm just going to use Disturbed, this uh, like navy blue and I'm taking that on a Spectrum A12 brush. And I'm just going to start putting that along here. Just using the Sigma switch to clean off this brush and I'm going into phase the purple giving that a tap and I'm going to start blending out this blue using phase I'm using a clean um, blending brush nothing on it I'm just going to start blending away just to sort of smoke it out a bit I'm just going to go back into Disturbed and just re-intensify the blue going in with a little bit of phase using that blending brush Spectrum A07 brush put some glitter glue on there but I'm going to go in for inky here. It's gorgeous, like midnight shimmer, a shimmer, a bit similar to nightfall, but a bit more of a blue toned. I'm going to start putting that all over the lid. I'm good about my eye watering, but yeah, these things happen. I just have to touch up that inner corner later on. I was thinking about putting Nightfall, which is this lovely blue down the middle here. I think I might. Just down the middle of the lid. I can't see much of a difference from here to here which is a bit disappointing uh, should I try half moon I'm going to try half moon on my finger that lovely light lilac colour and I'm going to try putting that in the middle try and make that shine a bit more like a halo still not what I'm looking for ok so I'm going to use this tester from the Pastel Roses um, and this is called Galaxy, Galaxia 
and it's a purple it's like flakes so I'm gonna just get a little bit more glitter glue but I'm gonna put it on my finger I'm just gonna because I don't want too much just basically doing that I'm gonna put that down the middle here and I'm gonna get a little bit of loose pigment there literally flakes and I'm gonna tap that down the middle brilliant Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of the face and then be back to do under eyes. See you in a bit. Brows, I just used Pink Honey, uh, the Coca Cola Cubes Tint and Hold, and Mac. What is this called? Mac Shape and Shade Brow Tint in Fling. And um, yeah, I just tight lined using Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner along the top there the lashes are just some cheap 5d lashes off ebay and i use the green duo glue for um sticking them on and for my lips i use photo shoot london lip liner in black and jeffrey star i'm royalty disturbed i'm just taking it on this really tiny morphe brush it's diddy I'm just gonna run that along. My eyes are quite dry at the minute underneath. I think because yesterday I did like four looks, two of which I wasn't happy with, so I started again. I was just finding it very hard to get inspired yesterday. I'm just putting that along there. phase on the same brush just give it a tap I'm just gonna blend out disturbed this area here I will put some shadow back on top of that once I'm done there's no point doing it now because my eye just keeps watering okay, I'm just gonna put this along the lower lash line I'm also putting it on the lashes taking that small Morphe brush I'm just gonna use that just to smudge I'm just gonna take phase again on that same brush give it a tap and I'm just gonna use that just to smudge out again I'm actually gonna use that same brush just to save dirtying up any other brushes and I'm gonna use no, this is Patrick Highlighter by Notoriously Morbid. It's this lovely, like, purple highlight. Um, it's what I have on my cheeks. I'm just going to spray that with some NYX setting spray. I'm just going to put that on the inner corner highlight and just on the lower lash line in the corner, meeting where it um, hits the mat. Okay, so here is the eyes up close. I'm just showing this eye because this one keeps watering. This is look free. Oh, I really enjoyed using this palette. Um, yeah, it's fun. This, I must say, is my favorite look. I love doing this wing. I love the gradient of the shades. They blend so well together such a great palette i had so much fun creating this i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know which one was your favorite look i hope you have a lovely day or evening and i'll see you soon in the next one bye